Amazing guys, welcome back. Remember this is Meet the HR with me Sylvia Wanja and with us we have a therapist who is Zippy and is giving us insight about what therapy involves and we are learning and picking so much. Now before we went for the break we were talking about how in therapy you require to talk a lot mm -hmm. and does that have to marry with a, a, someone's personality? So let's get back to the conversation and get the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. okay. So Zippy tell yeah. us, do you have to be an extrovert for you to be a therapist? or mm -hmm. how does it work? No, not really because mm -hmm. I have uh, friends who are introverts yeah. and they are actually amazing therapists. Oh. Yeah. Because, yeah, they are amazing therapists uh -huh. and they have the introversion or they are ambivert in uh -huh. between. Yeah. Yeah. So as much as, yes, personality is important key, uh -huh. and is also important because also with your personality mm -hmm. it will also help you to understand the clients that you know yourself mm -hmm. to understand the clients that you can take in yeah. and you know such kind of things mm -hmm. but then of course like any other yeah. uh, profession mm -hmm. therapies uh, also learn skills mm -hmm. that now you are able to become well, or you can now communicate well. Because mm -hmm. now also, again, with therapists, uh, you are you go to school, you learn the skills, mm -hmm. you learn the theories, yeah. you learn the practice, and mm -hmm. with time you get to become better mm -hmm. in, in your practice, yeah. yeah. So, so, yes, I have seen uh, introverts mm -hmm. as well as extroverts. Both and being both, good therapists. Yeah, both being good therapists, mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. So, in your own words, what would you say makes a good therapist? I think the first thing mm -hmm. the therapist has to be self-aware. Mm -hmm. You have to know yourself. You yeah. have to know your strengths, mm -hmm. your limitations, yeah. your area of focus and mm -hmm. your passion. Yeah. Because until you know yourself, mm -hmm. you're not, and you can only give what mm -hmm. you have. You know, ah. so you have to understand who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, you've gotten to a point you need to understand and also deal with your own issues. Mm -hmm. And that's where also as therapists, we also go for therapy. What do you mean you go for? See, Unaji, Unaji, I'm sure she does not go That's the perception people have. But we are uh, also human beings. Mm -hmm. And we also go through our own issues, yeah. you know. So we also have to go through therapy. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to have a therapist yeah. and, a co and then mm -hmm. you, you're coming in as a client mm -hmm. and you're telling her, like Akunajua, my husband left me. Mm -hmm. I am going through depression, mm -hmm. and then you're uh, me as a as, as a therapist. I'm mm -hmm. there telling you, mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> you know yeah. such kind of. So you have to be self aware, yeah. and then also understand yourself. Like mm -hmm. even when it comes to issues of personality, mm -hmm. and understand who you are mm -hmm. and your struggle. Mm -hmm. There are people who are very good mm -hmm. with counseling children mm -hmm. and they would not find themselves counseling adults mm -hmm. not that they will they are not good at that but mm -hmm. that is not it's their not struggle their uh -huh. the same way you will take someone mm -hmm. and tell them to counsel your child and then they'll be like a partner mm -hmm. you know so self-awareness is key mm -hmm. so that you also do not transfer your issues mm -hmm. to the client because yeah. the client comes in mm -hmm. because they trust in you. Mm -hmm. They trust in your ability. Mm -hmm. They trust that you will help them to guide them. Mm -hmm. And of course, like you're saying, people have this perception that mm -hmm. counselors mm -hmm. have their life figured out. Yeah, and they again. have all the answers. They have the, all the answers. Plus, again, for mm -hmm. you even to start, uh, be, uh, for you to become a therapist, mm -hmm. you, have to be, you have to go through counseling sessions fast for oh. you to be allowed yeah because you need to know yourself because mm -hmm. again you don't want, uh, to either you may be dealing with issues of grief mm -hmm. then you have not dealt with them mm -hmm. then a client comes in you start crying <laughs> together you know such kind of things yeah the other thing is empathy mm -hmm. you have to get into the shoes of the client mm -hmm. without you losing yourself mm -hmm. and empathy will provide a safe space mm -hmm. and will also provide a conducive environment for you and the client to form a, a working relationship, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So you have to be empathetic. Mm -hmm. How do you approach this client? Mm -hmm. Yes, if we are now using the analogy of watch or character development. Yes. They've mm -hmm. gone through character development. Mm -hmm. 
the, yes, they are not the first, mm-hmm. but this one hurts them. So you yeah. have to uh, be empathetic to them mm-hmm. and understand where they are I'm coming, coming from. from. Then another thing, mm-hmm. you have to be culturally sensitive. Mm-hmm. We all come from cultures. Yeah, different cultures. Yeah, we come from different cultures. Mm-hmm. So you have to understand where is this person coming from? Mm-hmm. Where, what is their culture? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. What? Because, what, uh, for example, mm-hmm. I have had the privilege of training uh, ustas mm-hmm. and imams mm-hmm. from the Muslim, uh, from the uh, Islam, mm-hmm. and for them, the, how they uh, they dress, mm-hmm. how they speak mm-hmm. is different. Is different. Mm-hmm. So what I have done is I've been able to get into their space mm-hmm. and even even just even get their tandis and everything mm-hmm. so that you get to understand mm-hmm. who they are mm-hmm. and also even understanding your own culture because mm-hmm. all our cultures have biases yeah so true. you have to understand <laughs> uh, uh, where your culture what your culture says mm-hmm. how it has affected you mm-hmm. and the likelihood of it probably interfering with us session mm-hmm. the same way with culture the culture of the different clients because mm-hmm. also clients are coming from different communities yeah. and that needs to be respected mm-hmm. and it will also help you even when it comes to intervention mm-hmm. and also assessing where probably issues are coming from concerns that they are bringing in for therapy mm-hmm. are coming from mm-hmm. and then what i would say uh, the other thing is having lifelong learning Mm-hmm. learning never stops yeah it keeps going it keeps going it's yeah. the same thing uh, also with therapy mm-hmm. you still have to continue learning mm-hmm. new theories are coming up yeah so you have to keep on learning understand mm-hmm. so that you're not fixated mm-hmm. either with one theory yeah uh, you need to keep on learning the new theories that are currently emerge you have to learn every other day mm-hmm. things are changing mm-hmm. currently issues of mental health are also broad and we are now uh, even uh, especially after covid we've now started like really opening up and understanding mental health from the different intersections mm-hmm. like mental health when it comes to uh, our moods mental health when it comes to how we eat mental mm-hmm. health how we interact how we choose our careers yeah. you know so you have to be intentional mm-hmm. in learning every other day mm-hmm. because you also meet uh, again, when it comes to mental health, there are new interventions mm-hmm. that, yes, there's therapy, mm-hmm. there's the talk therapy, yeah. but then there's also the aspect of drugs, mm-hmm. how are you supporting them? There's yeah. now the aspect of nature, mm-hmm. how is nature linked to mental health? Yeah. There's the aspect of bibliotherapy where we use books mm-hmm. and talk about therapy and wow. self-awareness because mm-hmm. that's also an approach that we use in, in our organization. So you have to keep on learning Mm. yes wow amazing so if you want to be a therapist you now know what you need to work on so that you can get better or if you're starting out as a therapist Mm -hmm. and you don't know which path to follow at least now you're getting a sense of the direction that you need or the path that you need to follow through with Mm -hmm. so do you believe uh, being a therapist is sustainable Mm -hmm. like is it is it it sustainable can it cater for your needs your family Mm -hmm. is it a sustainable uh, career path Mm -hmm. I think it is, Mm -hmm. but then like any other career, you have to position yourself Mm -hmm. so that it becomes sustainable for you. Mm -hmm. And as much as, yes, when you're talking about therapy, we'll do one-on-one sessions. But uh, again, in our country, not so many people have embraced Mm -hmm. uh, therapy. therapy. Mm -hmm. People are like, one hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She doesn't. Uh-huh. She doesn't. <laughs> then you go to the gender aspe- perspective. Mwanamke. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So some people will not appreciate coming in for one-on-one therapy session. Mm-hmm. But then now you also have to be innovative and creative in mm-hmm. your approach. Where are you going to take the group? Uh, session, mm-hmm. a line therapy a line, are you going to be a trainer or a facilitator in the community? Mm-hmm. Are you and then again, mm-hmm. one thing that like I had said, there's the intersectionality mm-hmm. of of therapy and mm-hmm. counseling and, and just general mental health. One can go to school and do counseling psychology mm-hmm. and work as a HR. Oh, wow. yeah, you know, mm-hmm. you, like in terms of integrate it into the human resource, mm-hmm. one can work as a can 
go study as a counseling psychologist mm-hmm. and uh, work in the sports industry mm-hmm. you know in crime industries mm-hmm. and all the other perspective yeah. so i believe it's how you position yourself mm-hmm. uh, so it's a doable thing mm-hmm. but then of course you may position yourself but then even like mm-hmm. how do you even use your finances and everything mm-hmm. when it comes also to financial management mm-hmm. so it is possible but yeah. one thing that i know when you're starting up mm-hmm. it may not be sustainable mm-hmm. per se yeah. as you continue growing mm-hmm. as you continue getting to know your niche as you continue being innovative in your approaches mm-hmm. it gets more sustainable mm-hmm. with with time mm-hmm. but then of course even with the economy you need so many yeah so yeah. many channels of, yeah. of income don't just focus on one thing yes. if you can do more than one thing the better for you yes. okay and uh is it possible for you to study therapy courses online yeah there are currently there are Uh, sites that mm-hmm. offer yeah. uh, different short courses mm-hmm. or, and some are paid mm-hmm. some are free like mm-hmm. we have Alison mm-hmm. we have Coursera yeah. and then also you can also register and, and enroll in a university mm-hmm. and actually learn online yeah. before I know the perception people had of online classes were mm-hmm. our watu wa hawa so yeah wako tu wako tu kazi yao tu ni ku and our kitembe our kisema wana soma but then also covid has come to mm-hmm. show us that we can use technology mm-hmm. to land the different universities that one can join mm-hmm. i am in kcau and i'm enjoying the experience there wow. and mm-hmm. i do uh, my online classes there mm-hmm. yeah. so it's very much possible yes, it's you very, are it's living test yeah it's very possible mm-hmm. and then of course uh, other ways that you can also learn not really a course mm-hmm. but you, then you can also learn through podcasts mm-hmm. from different uh, psychologists mm-hmm. uh, uh, that have been there you can learn through books mm-hmm. get to learn and understand wow yeah. amazing and are there like any bodies that uh, that uh, monitor the mm-hmm. conduct of uh, therapists mm-hmm. or how does it work yeah we currently have a board mm-hmm. that uh, counselors are actually uh, registering mm-hmm. to be members of so the board is going to control mm-hmm. uh, just yeah control the the counselors mm-hmm. uh, and psychologists on the ground mm-hmm. but then before we've had KCPA mm-hmm. that is also a body the yeah. KCPA is Kenya Counselors and Psychologists Association association mm-hmm. that brings counselors together mm-hmm. so apart from regulating mm-hmm. they also offer um what is it what is it called they offer like courses mm-hmm. so that you can upgrade that forget the name but they mm-hmm. offer courses that one can learn mm-hmm. so that you continue ah. upgrading mm-hmm. yes yeah. so that you can refresh yes. and that, that you continue refreshing each mm-hmm. and every other day amazing yeah. mm-hmm. and now this is a, a, a bit okay a question that's of the good kidogo mm-hmm. do you give therapy to your kids and family members No I cannot. Oh it's, that, it's that, 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 that is dual relationship. <laughs> ah, you know. Uh-huh. But then what I can do is I can offer guidance to them. Ah, you can imagine yeah. uh, giving my kids therapy mm-hmm. and then I'm telling them mm-hmm. uh Wait, so this is what you're doing counseling session mm-hmm. then i now step in as, as a mom and and then yeah in the counseling session mm-hmm. i was like so tell me about mm-hmm. your feelings yeah, what are you what, going uh-huh. through what do you think needs to be there? you know yeah and then so, and then, and then, and then, then, and then <laughs> you know as being an african mom, mom yeah. yeah so uh, so i cannot i can offer guidance mm-hmm. we can have conversations yeah but then because of the dual relationship mm-hmm. it limits mm-hmm. the, the professional relationship just the same way I cannot cancel my friends mm-hmm. yeah and I need to angle alafu kidogo na zile vitu zenye ulikuwa unasema kwa therapy no wonder you this kind of friend yeah. you know such kind of thing uh-huh. yeah. yeah wow okay mm-hmm. so unfortunately guys we are running out of time but this conversation has been very fruitful adi nasikia karibu niongeze time so that we can keep going <laughs> but unfortunately we are out of time mm-hmm. so zip Yes. what would you tell someone out there who wants to maybe be a counselor mm-hmm. or do a therapy mm-hmm. uh, uh, out there using this camera right here okay. yes so i think 
think for me, one of the things that I would say is counseling is a helping profession. We get to deal with people. We get to deal with people's lives. We get to help them understand who they are. So if you have that desire, go for it. Of course, what I will say, and from experience, uh, counseling, like any other helping profession, is a calling. It's not just you decide one day I will do that. But then also for you to become a counselor, you have to trust the process. I think it's a it's a cliche that I keep on saying trust the process, but then you also have to allow yourself to become, work on yourself so that, work on the issues uh, that you need to deal with so that you become the best version of yourself and then you can give, you can pour out the things that are in you and become a better and a great counselor. And then also just uh, another thing is Go and just take the leap of faith. And I, I know people have said we do not have uh, money. The career is coming to an end. You know, such kind of things. But if it is in your desire, everything then will align according to your purpose. So, asante sana. Amazing, guys. So that is it, unfortunately, here at Meet the HR. We have had Zippy, who is a therapist, and we've had a very fruitful conversation. So if you think therapy is a path for you, if you think counseling is a path for you, make sure you follow through with it till the end. Uh, my name is Silvia Wanja. I hope to see you guys next week, same place, same time, with a different and more interesting episode. And remember, here at Meet the HR, we always say there is no luck in career, but it's an opportunity meets preparation so go out there uh, go out there prepare yourself for that career and i will see you in the job market bye bye, bye.